Right, so today is my first session back at Jiu Jitsu. I've had two weeks off. Uh, I've not been on all day. I've been off because I've had COVID. Now I'm better now. Whoa, my camera. Steady, steady. Um, I'm feeling a bit better now. It's been two weeks, but I know this is going to be tough. This is going to be a hard session. So as you know, if you spend time away from Jiu Jitsu, uh, just even for a couple of days, you feel a bit rough afterwards, trying to get back into it. Well, I've had two weeks off here. So I'm gonna feel like dog shit. But this session is just like a cardio session. Just try to get back into the swing of things. I'm not really going there with, you know, too many goals. Uh, I need to get a better, I need to get a mount for this camera. Um, yeah, I'm not going there with too many goals, uh, apart from just like trying to survive, just, just try and last the rounds, you know what I mean? Um, this is gonna be, it's gonna be tough. But, you know, it is what it is got to do what I've got to do. You know, you spend two weeks off, you start thinking, I might as well just quit. Because <laughs> everyone else has been at training. And they, they, you think that people are going to get so much better than you. So like, I might surprise myself today. Probably not. My wife said something to me which um, was quite, you know, which was true. She was saying, well, it was kind of true, but not true. It was true because she was saying, because you're off ill, at least you can rest your injuries. And now that is true. However, my injuries are still, I can still feel them, they're still there. I've got a sore finger, sore thumb, two sore shoulders, a sore knee, lower back hurts a bit. But I think inactivity is quite bad, isn't it? I've literally just been trying to rest, just been like watching TV, trying to like study Jiu Jitsu and stuff like that. But when you have time off, when I, when I have time off, I don't want to do anything to do with Jiu Jitsu really. I just want to well, have time off. So like, I need to be like consistently training to care about studying Jiu Jitsu in my spare time. Because when you're ill, you just feel sorry for yourself, you just want to eat food, you know what I mean? Um, which I was doing, I was, I was enjoying that, but I actually lost my sense of smell and taste. This happened for the first time. When I first had COVID a couple of years ago, that never happened. I, did, I wasn't really that ill the first time, but this time I was, especially the first couple of days. I had like a temperature up and down, you know, shivering, all that kind of stuff. And I lost my taste, and that, I think that was the worst thing. Trying to chew on food. That just it just it felt like just wet cardboard. You know what I mean? Tasteless. Although I imagine cardboard does taste or something, but anyway, I'm looking forward to the session. But I'm kind of a bit adrenaline-y. Is that a, I don't know if that's the right word. Adrenaline-y. I feel like my adrenaline is going because uh, well because I'm not doing anything in two weeks, but also I'm getting back to it. I know it's going to be hard. <laughs> I'm just going to survive. I'm just going to try and survive. I don't know who's there. But it's open mat, so open mat usually means what you do, you have a little stretch, a tiny little chat, and then you set the time going, five minute rounds, usually. Uh, you fight with someone, pick another partner, fight with them, just keep going. Sometimes sit out if you want to sit out. My goal today, it'd be nice to get just five rounds, 25 minutes of straight up sparring. Um, whoa! Yeah, I definitely need a mount door for this camera. Honestly, I've not even recorded much content lately. So what I'm trying to do, is post more content. To do that, I usually really need to train because I'm trying to post Jiu Jitsu content. And occasionally I'll post some uh, new music. So, you know, if I try vlogging more, which is my goal, vlog more, that will mean I train more. Although I do train quite a lot, unless you get injured or ill, then obviously you have to have time off. But I'm gonna try and uh, upload content a lot more. Come on, someone let me go. You let me go. Thank you. Um, anyway, what I normally do on the way to the gym is play some rap music. So, you know, get, get pumped up. You can never do it like this. I'm a different breed and I'm in a different league. Just admit I'm the shit. My skills are slick. In fact, I'm so good that I make you want to quit. So that is actually my music by the Leukemia Lad, available on all platforms. Um, I can play that music because there's no copyright because it's my music. In fact, you can play that music if you want. I've not got it so people get copyrighted, so anyone can play it. But yeah, I normally play some rap music on the, on the way to the gym, get proper pumped up. Um, but I don't really pump me up, I just do it because I like it. Uh, but yeah, play my music. Feel free to play it too, it's up to you. It's a nice, cold, crisp morning. So, I probably won't warm up. I, probably, I like to stretch. What I found is if I stretch my glutes and my hamstrings, it sometimes, sometimes helps the lower back issue. Um, but yeah, stretching, definitely to do more of that. So I'm gonna have a good stretch this morning. 
and then I'm gonna I'm gonna try and record one or two rounds. It depends really. It, I, I find it depends who's there because some people are alright to go on camera. Some people whoa. Some people probably don't want to be on camera, I don't know. The reason why I want to post more content really, it helps me be creative. But also, I'm a blue belt now, so I'm I'm miles away from being a black belt. Miles away, years away. So by the time I get there, if I'm, if I'm still posting content, it'd be great to look at the difference. I could do like videos looking at my old footage, comparing it with the new footage, or just like, just you know, it'd just be good to see the difference. Anyway, we're approaching the gym, so I'll uh, see you on the first roll. I don't know, it might not be the first roll, but I'll see you in there. Oh, you'll see me maybe, because you'll be watching me. Just roll out of the camera. Oh, man. oh. 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 Cheers. Oh, that was fun.
I'm the shit. My skills are slick. If I feel so good that I make you wanna quit. Just a piece of the pie. And nah, I need a supply of recipes. I'm cooking up a formula. Just leave me to try. That was a good session. I struggled. I really did struggle. I was out of breath. I was sweating a lot. I felt quite hot. Um, but it's the first session back in two weeks. We did a little bit of like positional sparring, which is really good because I'm trying to work on my guard retention or just fighting up from guard really. So I feel like that was a good session. Good for cardio and good for actually learning guard. And I really like defending. So like, when people are on my back or they get me in the submission, an arm bar, foot lock, whatever, um, I like to defend. It feels good to defend and when you escape and then you end up on top, I like that because when you escape somebody's submission, I feel like mentally it kind of, you get one up on them. It breaks them a little bit. You know, it's, it's quite annoying when you've got somebody in a submission and then get out of it. And then all of a sudden you're defending. So it's nice to, uh, it's nice to be able to escape something or not get tapped out, whatever. It's just, it's just nice to defend, I quite like it. All right, someone's ringing. So that's the end of the video.